asking you just to give us a bit of a background on Stuart Investors and your investment philosophy and, and how you go about managing money. Have we? Okay, yeah. sure, I can start with that one. So I think it's important when you think about Stuart Investors and uh, our sustainable funds in particular to take the longer view of our history. So uh, we started as a fund manager back in 88, 1988. And so over the course of those decades, uh, we've applied a, a consistent investment philosophy uh, throughout that time and the types of uh, things that you'd expect to see from any of our strategies are a really long-term view so we're talking 10 years plus when we when we invest in a particular company we're very bottom-up focused uh, meaning that we are much more interested in the individual companies and their prospects than thinking about um, how big it might be in a benchmark or an index we're not really uh, concerned with with benchmarks at all when we're, when we're thinking about risk we're actually much more focused on capital preservation and not losing our, our clients money uh, the other things that are probably really worth pointing out in terms of the philosophy and the way that we think about investing is that uh, we're very much concerned with the quality of companies and so if you don't think about the benchmark as being the source of uh, risk and instead you're trying to uh, deliver really good long-term positive returns um, from individual companies, they have to be high quality companies and we think about quality in three different areas. We think about the franchise quality, so is it a good business, are they trusted, the brand, have they got pricing power, those types of aspects. Uh, the quality of the management team, so are they honest and competent and humble in the way that they approach uh, uh, managing the business and the quality of financials, which is really around for us because again, we're, we're focused on capital preservation. We want them to be um, operating in a relatively conservative way, not have a very indebted balance sheet, for example, uh, not taking shortcuts with tax and, and, uh, and other areas in their financials so that they can just confidence that they'll be around for the long run. Okay. Um, the sustainable, just the last point on terms, in terms of sustainability then came in in around 2005. So if you think about that investment philosophy. Uh, in 2005, we launched our first uh, dedicated sustainable strategy. And uh, the, the thing that comes in over the top then is this idea that we're looking for companies that are high quality, but that are also really well positioned for sustainable development. And I'm sure we'll get into what, what sustainable development means, but I think those two things of quality and sustainability are, are really, really important.